Wow. Thank you so much for that generous intro and, and that video. I, I, we, we kept Olympia up past her bedtime uh, in order to be able to see that. So um, thank you. Um, wow. OK. First and foremost, the, the way I wanted to start this, um, Aaron Simon, uh, Natalie Romello, uh, Kaya McCullough, Sinead Fairley, Mana Shim, Kristen Press, uh, Jen Hoy, and Sam Johnson. So I want to start by first commending these brave women of the NWSL and all of the others who have come forward to share their experiences. And, you know, as a, as a club owner, as a husband, and as a father, uh, I have been disgusted uh, by what has been brought to light as part of this ongoing investigation. And, and I know we're here, we're here celebrating something very special, you know, the 50th anniversary of Title IX, um, which is amazing. And, and there is so much to be proud of. There is so much to be excited about. Uh, but, but news like this is still a very stark and real reminder of so much more that needs to be done and that we simply cannot let up, can't let up the gas and, and can't continue to force men uh, and, and broadly society to be held up to a higher standard. Um, but that said, look, I am hopeful, all right? And I know firsthand that sometimes you know, bold action is what is needed to spur real change. Um, and it, it, you know, sadly, as you heard in that video, it was not until after I resigned in protest from the company that I had founded uh, that thousands of, of vile and unchecked hate speech communities finally got banned. It, it took shining that spotlight in that act of resignation to unfortunately that, to, get, to get the accountability. But I am confident the testimonies of these brave women will lead to necessary reform. We're already beginning to see it, but not enough. And, and I have to give credit where it's due. It, it's, it's to their strength, their courage, their bravery, we're going to get a better NWSL and we're going to get a better sports world. Period. Not just for women. And look, look, I'm, I'm optimistic because communities like this, the folks who are here in this room tonight, uh, are individual, indiv yeah, who are individuals who care deeply about sports, and I mean that broadly, not just women's sports, they care about sports, right? Continue to lead the charge in doing what is right and what is best for all athletes including our, our female athletes. And, and you could say that women's sports is a bit of a family business. I have had the privilege of having a front row seat to witness the greatest athlete of all time. And I think it's only fair that I take a minute to acknowledge my wife uh, and my daughter uh, who are here for teaching me a thing or two about the greatness of women's sports. Uh, I was not a tennis fan at all when I first started chatting with Serena. Thankfully, I'm a quick study. Uh, and similarly, you know, my involvement with women's soccer really started in the summer of 2019 as a stubborn bet with my wife. Uh, and that's because I really, I don't like being wrong. And, and you know, we were all watching the World Cup final. This, we were in our house in Wimbledon. Uh, Olympia, you were running around with a little Alex Morgan jersey. And, and I remarked, like any proud papa, you know, wouldn't it be nice one day if she played in the World Cup? And without missing a beat, Serena said, not until they pay her what she is worth. That is a true story. All right? True story. And so I looked right back at her and I said, all right, challenge accepted. All right, Olympia at that time was two or three. And I said, I've got about 14, 15 years to do everything I can to help create a, an environment where should she so choose it, or should anyone else's daughter so choose it, they do get paid what they're worth. And the good news is that I had nothing to do with it. Some amazing women finally got the work done. We saw that signed in in some of the pre-roll earlier. It's been an amazing step forward to get pay equality in U.S. soccer. It took a long damn time, but it got done. And, and I feel in many ways undeserving of this award because I feel like I'm riding a tidal wave of energy that has been bottled up for a long time in this country and in this world and I just happened to have a good surfboard at the right time. Because uh, I was sitting there. I had, you all know, I had a few uh, drinks with me that night after, <laughs> after watching another World Cup victory. And I, I started tweeting 
uh, about how undervalued, check it, these tweets, back in 2019, how undervalued women's football was. And a bunch of you all, probably, and a bunch of diehard fans tweeted back, and they said, talk is cheap, buy a team. <laughs> I said, okay, all right, the universe has given me a sign, and I'll say this too, there were a few haters. There were a few haters, all dudes, I know, shocking. And I still remember their tweets because I saved screenshots of them in a folder. And it was nonsense things. No one wants to watch women athletes. You're going to lose all your money. This is the dumbest thing ever. And if you follow me on Twitter, you know every time we hit another viewership milestone, every time we sell out another stadium, every time, you know, Angel City now has more season ticket holders than the LA Galaxy, every time we hit that milestone, I dig up one of those tweets and tag the SOB from three years earlier just to let him know I am that petty. And I live off of it. I, I, it fuels me. Uh, and, and credit, you know, credit where it's due. When I met Julie, Kara, and Nat, the, the founders of Angel City FC, they had a similar version for a modern sports franchise using best practices from startups from, from eSports, from any franchise that was telling an amazing story. And, and they said they had that vision of not just being the best team in women's sports, but being the best team in sports. That's the bar. And I was fired up, and I said, great, let's do it. And none of this, to be clear, was about doing what was right. It was not about doing something that felt good. Yes, it felt good. I like being right. My wife knows that. It's a problem I have. Uh, it was about an amazing business opportunity. That was it. It was about investing in something that I really believed would be wildly successful from a financial standpoint. And it's been so fulfilling to see that now fulfilled and see it realized. You know, at the end of the day, I think what, has, what is going to be this new chapter, thanks to so much of the amazing work that's been done here, is a change of perception about the women's game. Because at the end of the day, it is an opportunity to see greatness, to see it as something that fills stadiums, to see it as something that generates money. I mean, seeing the, the league's single game attendance record broken uh, just recently, uh, to, to see all of the attention now globally that's been spurred around the women's game of soccer, I am just so grateful. And like I said, I right place, right time, right? I'm grateful all the players, certainly both present and former, who at various points of the season have, have thanked me uh, in one way or another, and I'm, I'm quick to respond to them that, that, you know what, they shouldn't feel any reason to thank me at the end of the day. Uh, uh, trust me, because a dude in, in their position would certainly not be thanking anyone. Uh, I, I appreciate the gratitude, I do, but part of this that I really think we're going to see emerge now is for women to step into their greatness. And I, like I said, I've had a front row seat to it because the sport of tennis came to life thanks to a couple little girls from Compton who no one even believed should have been there in the first place. And again, facts, facts over feelings to this day. More Americans are tuning in to watch the US Open finals for the women than the men. And, and lo and behold, this was because here's a sport that's actually put dollars and airtime and attention towards supporting the women on a reasonably equal playing field to the men. And the facts speak for themselves. And so here was a sport, women's soccer, where, where thankfully, thanks to the amazing work of so many, women's soccer is the greatest on the planet. It's the greatest in the world. It has been for decades. And when the average American thinks of American soccer greatness, they're probably thinking of Chastain kicking that penalty kick, tearing off her shirt, and celebrating. They're not thinking of a man doing it, because frankly, we have not been great. <laughs> And at the end of the day, I, I just cannot stress enough, this means so much to me. I've just been in the right place at the right time. I'm really just trying to you know, win a friendly wager with my wife and make my daughter proud. Um, I feel so grateful for this honor. And I'm telling you, for so much of my adult life, it was people would stop me on the street to thank me for, for making Reddit and tell me some story. But for the first time last month, someone stopped me and thanked me for Angel City. And it made my year. Uh, because I'll tell you, I upset a lot of people, especially if you look on the internet, uh, when I resigned from Reddit asking for that change. Then I promised myself that Reddit would not be my legacy and that I would spend the rest of my life making sure of that. 
So thank you for this. It gives me so much joy to see the way people have responded. It gives me so much joy. You know, Julie is, is a very biased introducer, and I appreciate her, because she is a fellow investor at Angel City. Um, I'm grateful to the Young Women of America Scores New York. I, I'm a Brooklyn boy, so I am just, any chance to be back here in the city and to see young women who are finding their, their light uh, and just loving sport makes me so happy. Billie Jean King, the legend, I'm just so grateful for everything that this room represents and everything that this organization means to so many people. I am, am just a grateful recipient. Um, and I'm telling you, there is so much more work to do, but you have my ax, you have my sword, you've got everything <laughs> at your disposal. Uh, and I'm, I'm just so grateful to be able to have this honor and, uh, and I'm so grateful to be here. So thank you, thank you.